farming is the best job and farmer is the best person in the world because they feed everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Namaskar and welcome. It's me Mahalakshmi. You are watching the Mahalakshmi show. I think you guys have already some ideas what topic do I have today. Yes, today I'm in Naga Gardens, Florida. This garden is really huge and I'm going to talk here like a uh, here staff and owner. Let's see what they will tell. Here we can find different kind of fruits like uh, banana, lychee, jackfruits oh, and other so many things. Now I'm going to talk with Naga Gardens owner, Mr. Ravitela. Mr. Ravitela, welcome to the Mahalakshmi show. All right, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Mr. Robbie, how is everything going on? Uh, it's going on pretty good. You know, lychee season is a busy season. So we, we have a lot of people coming in, walk-ins. You know, they buy lychee. We have a lot of orders that we have to ship out. So, and I know you came from all the way from Orlando. So you wanted jackfruit. So I appreciate you coming down. I'm glad we were able to help you to find the green jackfruits uh, you, you'd liked. So that's uh, jackfruit is another fruit we grow besides lychee. So you know that's pretty much it. I mean it's a busy period for us right now. So uh, you know for maybe another week or so, then things calm down a little bit. How long have you been doing uh, farming? The farming, uh, I, my profession is originally you know I did engineering, nuclear engineering. I retired. So farming, I've been farming for the last four and a half years. So it's fun. I enjoy it. You know, so you know, as long as you enjoy, I suppose it's okay. But once you start, uh, you know, it's just a lot of hard work. Uh, but I have good guys who are working for me, so they take care of the farm. So you know, like it here is like weather is like fluctuate. Especially Florida weather is uh, really fluctuate. Sometimes we'll get a hurricane, tornado, so many things. So how you guys are managing? Yeah, hurricanes, uh, you know, we get abnormal weather here. Uh, hurricanes, what happens is when we get hurricanes, we are, uh, we're not really prepared, but, you know, we do get a lot of damage if it's a direct hit. Usually when Irma happened, it took me about six months to clean up the place because lychee trees are very weak trees. So usually if you get high winds, they'll break. So when they break, the tree is still okay. It just uh, when it's so, so windy, you've got a lot of, branches broken so you have to clean up all of those branches so it is uh, it is tough time right after a hurricane so but we're used to it we've gone through a couple of them already um, but uh, yes. but during hurricane season all the fruit season is already over so you know basically yeah. so basically the fruit season is over so we don't really have much fruits to worry about so it's usually the trees that we have to protect you know so but there's not much you could do when with a hurricane. You just have to hope that you don't get a direct hit. You know? So and we went through one, you know, and we're prepared for more. But trees are very resilient here in Florida because the weather is really good. Uh, once you have a tree, you know, breaks, then usually your trees will come up very fast. You know? Do you think uh, people can survive easily doing farming and gardening uh, here? I think first thing is uh, you have to enjoy what you're doing, okay? And the second thing is if you're if you're doing it a small scale like I do, like maybe 25 acres, uh, you're um, you know it's it's not sustainable for you know you can't live off it, so you have to be prepared for other sources of your income, because because for example lychee, you know you'll get fruit one year and not no fruit next year, so you have to be prepared for those uneven years. Uh, but the key is to enjoy, you know, that's the main main focus for me. And that's what many people who come here ask me, hey, how do you farm? They want to farm. So I tell them the opinion, and as long as you enjoy what you're doing, it should be fine. You know? So what kind of challenge are you facing uh, here? The challenges are, you know, we grow a lot of fruit trees. So when you grow a lot of fruit trees, they require different kinds of management. Uh, lychee trees require different management, mango trees require different management, and then supporter trees require different management. So when you have all of these trees, it takes different kinds of care. So that's challenging, you know, because now you have to make sure you're doing the right things for each type of tree. 
the other challenging thing is labor has become tough now. You know, we're not getting the labor at the price we were paying before. So it's costing a lot more money to hire labor. And, and for us, being away from the fruit belt, you know, we're not in the fruit belt. You know, if you go to Homestead, you're in the fruit belt. So there are people there that you can hire, contract, you know, and then they'll come in the farm, pick the fruit for you. And then the, here I have to do everything myself. I have to hire the people, I have to hire the box, get the boxes, you know, everything is done by individual person, you know, so, and that's challenging because now you're doing multitasking, you know, you've got a lot of work uh, going on there, so. But it, it's, it's something that we get used to it, you know, you're, you, once you know the conditions are, you know, uh, different than what you would see in a, a different fruit belt, then you just adapt to it. How many staff do you have here? We normally have uh, three full-time staff, but during the lychee season, I'm hiring uh, eight to 12 people sometimes, um, you know, because we, we pick a lot of lychee. And then we, we, we do about 60% retail and about 40% wholesale. And the wholesale, whenever there's a wholesale, then we'll increase the staff uh, for wholesale customer, uh, wholesale uh, sales. So do you have only fruits or do you have vegetable and other herbs as well? Uh, primarily my focus here at Naga Gardens is vegetable. No, fru I'm sorry, fruits. So vegetables is something we do because there's lots of time of the year there's no fruits. So I like to just keep it busy. So I grow a few vegetables, but I'm finding out vegetables is, uh, you can get uh, Indian vegetables fairly cheap out in, in the Indian stores. Uh, you don't get them fresh, but uh, but it's very tough for us to do a small scale vegetable, so because of labor cost to us, so we're scaling down on the vegetable side of it. And uh, usually we grow it just for, you know, uh, a little bit to if you go excess, then we'll sell it to the public. Uh, by the way, Mr. Ravi, do you want to tell anything for those people who does not believe in farming? And I think, uh, you know, farming has become a big thing during the pandemic. People realize that, uh, hey, uh, the best place that you could have had is being in a farm like this, where you have complete uh, isolation, you know, peace, and, uh, you know, you couldn't have asked for anything. And you know, here you could run around and do whatever you wanted. Uh, and I think that's what triggered a lot of people now, you know, to coming from the Northeast. They're all coming down to Florida because they find, uh, you know, the areas, you have more areas that they can um, spread out a little bit. And, and I also see a lot of friends saying, hey, they want to buy farms, you know, because they feel more at ease and more at peace uh, to have a farm. So I, I encourage people to do a little bit of farming, but it is, it's not easy. So you have to be aware that there are some certain uh, conditions that are going to come across. So you need to be prepared for that. Um, and I'm not saying don't do farming. It's just uh, it's 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 has to be satisfying to you, you know, before you say yeah, I want to do it. Have any suggestion for those people who want to do farming? Um, I would say you know, in, it's it's a business that if you get into it on a smaller scale, uh, you're not going to live off of it. So that means make sure you keep a side job and then do farming. Uh, but if you're doing uh, large-scale farming, you know, maybe three, four hundred acres, uh, then you might say, yeah, I can dedicate fully 100% on the farming, and then maybe there you can sustain a living, you know. So on a small scale, you have to do it as a passion, uh, like we're doing it here, you know. Um, but, um, but I'm not discouraging people not to do it, you know, so... And, and as you can see, you know, there's a lot of things going on here during the lychee season. So uh, a lot of logistics, you know, that happen. Uh, and we're trying to satisfy all everybody's needs. Mr. Ravi, I really appreciate it was very informative and interesting conversation. Thank you very much for being a part of Mahalakshmi show. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Now you don't? Uh, I don't know, maybe. No, but only one is there. A small one. Do you like lychee? How many lychee did you eat today? One. Only one? Yeah. Really? 
Do you like this farm? Yeah. What 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 do you like? I love the lychees. You love the lychees. Is this your first time? No, second time. Second time? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? My name's Adrian. Do where do you live? I live in Jupiter. Okay, enjoy the lychees. Okay. I bought three well thirty pounds of lychee. So you bought so many lychees, right? Yeah. So are you going to sell it or you will eat? No, I'm going to eat it all. Hopefully it'll, it'll probably last three days. So, so how did you know about this farm? I went on Google, searched up for like lychees available and this one came up. It's pretty far but made a trip because it's very scarce to get anywhere else. How far do you live? I live about 30 minutes from here, like 25 miles. It was a little dry but it was worth it. Enjoy your lychee. I <laughs> uh, appreciate it. Thank you. She came here for lychees. Lychees? Did you buy it? Yeah, we did. How did you know about this farm? It's my friend's one. Oh, this is friend's one? Yeah. Do you live around here? Yeah, Jupiter. How long, how often do you come here for Once lychees? Once a year. Once a year. Okay, enjoy. you know what I'm not sure I think we got 25 did you live around here Right across the street. Um, probably about three times. Okay. But my husband's lived here for almost 20 years. And he used to come every year. So he knows everybody here. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your lychee. Thank you. So guys, we are going for garden tour. Mr. Nato, uh, who is working here for a long time, he's helping us. So let's see the garden. Nasu is very happy person. He and his friends, they are talking in Spanish. It is hard to understand us, but we can understand something. Maria, what's going on here? Para acá, para acá. Eso está malo y lo corto malo. Niño, para donde? Hey, hundred. Oh, lychee eight hundred yeah, yeah. and jackfruit three hundred. Yeah. And uh, how about other fruits? Banana. No, banana, a lot of banana. Mangoes? Mango, a lot of banana, maybe 100. Oh my god, it's a very Three big, mango. big garden, right? Yeah. How many? See, he's very nice. Yes. And he's so happy. Right? You're happy? Yeah. <laughs> Fruits. It's a little good. I will go with you. You choose it. One, two. This one there. Pocket. How many years working here? Oh, 60 years. You like this farm? Oh yeah, I like it. So yeah. your whole family work here or? You alone working here? Yeah. Do you live here, around here? Yeah. You look so happy. Me happy? Yes. Yeah, every day happy, happy.
So guys, how do you like uh, today episode? Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. This is really a uh, wonderful and big garden. I really appreciate Mr. Robbie and his staff. They are doing hard work and we are getting very fresh uh, fruits and vegetables. This is really big thing. And don't forget to visit Naga Garden.